Section 1. The Power of the First Impression. Why Intros Matter. The first impression matters. This is true for people, and it's true for writing. Your introduction is your chance to grab the reader's attention and make them want to keep reading. A weak intro can make a reader lose interest before they even begin. Think about a time you started reading something but quickly stopped. Why did you stop? Chances are the introduction failed to hook you. It might have been boring, confusing, or irrelevant to your interests. A strong introduction, on the other hand, can captivate your audience and set the tone for an enjoyable reading experience. It's like a firm handshake or a warm smile. It makes the reader feel welcomed and eager to engage with what you have to say. Now, ask yourself, what makes an introduction truly captivating? How can you ensure your writing grabs the reader from the very first line? Let's explore the answers in the next section. Section 2. Setting the Stage How Intros Guide the Reader An introduction serves as a roadmap for the reader. It tells them where they're going and what to expect along the way. A good intro should clearly establish the topic, purpose, and scope of your writing. Imagine reading a mystery novel that starts with a detailed description of the weather. Confusing, right? You'd likely wonder what the point is and how it connects to the story. An effective introduction in this case would hint at the mystery, introduce the characters, or set the scene for the crime. Just as a director sets the stage for a play, a writer must set the stage for their readers. The introduction is the curtain rising, revealing the setting and the characters that will drive the narrative forward. But how do you make this introduction engaging and thought-provoking? How do you pique the reader's curiosity and make them eager to uncover the answers? The answer lies in the art of asking the right questions. Section 3. Engaging your audience. Asking the right questions. Questions are powerful tools in writing. They engage the reader by prompting them to think critically and actively participate in the unfolding narrative. By posing questions in your introduction, you invite the reader to embark on a journey of discovery alongside you. Consider this. What if this essay started with a simple statement like Introductions are important. It wouldn't have the same impact as a question that directly addresses the reader. Like, have you ever abandoned a book after just one paragraph? Questions create a conversational tone, making the reader feel like they're part of a dialogue. They transform a passive reading experience into an active one, where the reader is constantly seeking answers and engaging with your ideas. Now you might be wondering, what types of questions are most effective in an introduction? How can you ensure your questions are relevant, thought-provoking and seamlessly integrated into your writing? Let's delve into the different types of intros and how they can elevate your writing. Section 4. Unveiling the Answers. Transitioning smoothly. The beauty of posing questions in your introduction lies in the satisfaction of revealing the answers. However, the transition from question to answer must be smooth and logical. You don't want to leave your reader hanging or abruptly switch gears without connecting the dots. Think of it like a conversation. You ask a question, your friend responds, and then you build upon their answer to further the discussion. Similarly, in writing, you should address the questions you raise in your introduction naturally and organically within the body of your work. For instance, if your introduction asks, what makes a good story? You might dedicate the following sections to exploring elements like plot, character development, and theme. Each section would then provide a piece of the puzzle, ultimately answering the initial question posed in the introduction. This approach not only keeps the reader engaged, but also demonstrates a clear structure and flow in your writing. It shows that you're not just asking questions for the sake of it, but rather using them as a springboard to delve deeper into your chosen topic. But introductions aren't one size fits all. Different sections of your writing require different types of introductions to effectively guide the reader and maintain their interest. North and South, Medley, Post.
Section 5. A variety of approaches. Different intros for different sections. Just as a chef uses different spices to enhance a dish, a writer uses varied introductions to add depth and intrigue. The introduction should align with the purpose and tone of the section it precedes. A section on historical context might start with a captivating anecdote or a thought-provoking quote. A scientific section could begin with a relatable example or a compelling statistic. The key is to choose an introduction that is both engaging and relevant to the content that follows. By varying your approach, you can keep your writing fresh, dynamic and captivating from beginning to end. Section 6. Crafting compelling conclusions leaving a lasting impression. The conclusion is your final opportunity to resonate with your reader. Reiterate your main points, offer a final thought, and leave a lasting impression. Think of the conclusion as the closing argument in a courtroom drama. Summarize key evidence, connect the dots, and deliver a powerful statement. Tie together your argument, offer closure, and leave the reader pondering. Elevate your writing to a new level of insight and impact. Consider these approaches. Call to action. Encourage the reader to learn more or take action. Resonant quote. End with a powerful quote that encapsulates your message. Thought-provoking question. Leave the reader with a final question. A well-crafted conclusion can elevate your writing from good to unforgettable. Section 7. The Art of Practice. Honing your intro writing skills. Like any skill worth mastering, writing captivating introductions requires practice. The more you write, the better you'll become at crafting intros that hook your readers and set the stage for compelling content. Don't be afraid to experiment with different approaches. Try out various types of introductions and see what resonates best with your writing style and your target audience. Read widely and pay attention to how other writers craft their opening paragraphs. Consider keeping a journal specifically for practicing your intro writing. Each day, choose a different topic and challenge yourself to write a captivating introduction that would make any reader eager to delve further. Remember, the journey of a writer is paved with countless drafts, revisions, and experiments. Embrace the process, learn from your mistakes, and celebrate your progress as you hone your craft. But what happens when you hit a wall? How do you overcome writer's block and find inspiration when it seems elusive? Section 8, Embracing the Challenge, Overcoming Writer's Block. Every writer, from novice to expert, faces the dreaded writer's block at some point in their journey. That blank page can feel like an insurmountable obstacle, but don't despair. There are ways to overcome this creative hurdle and reignite your writing spark. One effective strategy is to step away from your writing for a while. Take a walk, listen to music, engage in a hobby, or simply allow your mind to wander. Often, the best ideas come when we least expect them, bubbling to the surface when we give ourselves space to breathe and think freely. Another helpful tip is to read something inspiring. Pick up a book by your favourite author, revisit a piece of writing that resonated with you, or explore a new genre altogether. Sometimes, all it takes is a spark of inspiration from another writer to ignite our own creative flames. Remember, writer's block is a temporary hurdle, not a permanent roadblock. By embracing the challenge and finding creative ways to overcome it, you can emerge as a stronger, more resilient writer. And so we arrive at the heart of it all, the ongoing journey of a writer. Section nine, the journey of a writer, the continual pursuit of excellence. The journey of a writer is a lifelong pursuit of excellence. It's a continuous process of learning, growing, and refining one's craft. From mastering the art of crafting captivating introductions to weaving together compelling narratives, the path of a writer is paved with dedication, perseverance, and an unquenchable thirst for knowledge. Embrace the challenges, celebrate the victories, and never stop exploring the vast and ever-evolving world of writing. For within the realm of words, lies the power to inspire, educate, entertain, and leave an indelible mark on the hearts and minds of readers across time and space. Now, go forth and write. 
Unleash the power of your words, captivate your audience, and share your unique voice with the world. The journey awaits, and the possibilities are limitless.